says you stole a postal order. But now, I... I don't want you to say a word until you've heard what I've got to say. If you did it, you must tell me. I shan't be angry with you, Ronnie, provided you tell me the truth. If you tell me a lie, I shall know it because a lie between you and me can't be hidden. The Winslow Boy is about a father's fight for justice, and it's about a family and the things that they're willing to sacrifice uh, in order to save their name. It's very popular in England, but it's actually rarely done here. So it's, it's great because audiences are, are hearing this play for the first time and this brilliant story for the first time. But I thought it was an almost perfectly constructed play, uh, excellent production. Yeah, and I, I don't say that lightly. Because it's really a brilliant British classic. Um, and it's, it's very funny, actually. I think audiences come not quite knowing what they're in for. It's very moving, it's very funny, it's sort of everything you want in a good play. May I kiss you? After all, I'm practically your mother now. But yes, of course. Well, I, by the same token, am practically your father, but if you will forgive me, yes, certainly so. <laughs> it's just a really great show that still has elements that are relevant to today. Um, and I just also think it's a great master class in acting. You know, the, every part was perfectly cast, um, everyone was just wonderful. At the end of the day, it's a story about people, and about a family, and uh, the way they navigate some really difficult times in their lives. And through all of that, Radigan keeps it very smart, very fresh, very funny, and I think that's kind of shocking and will be surprising for a lot of audiences. If you could go back, choose again, would your choice be different? Perhaps. I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> it's a really cool play, you know. It's history, it's a time period that we're not familiar with. It's a case that got so much attention that we've never really heard of. And it's really relevant to the time that we're living in right now. Like, how important is an individual's rights? And then on top of that, you've got these like brilliant actors giving really good performances and doing some really hilarious stuff. And I think any time that you get to see somebody like Roger Reese up on stage throwing the ball around with Alessandra Nivola and Charlotte Perry, it's like, I can't miss out on that. Mm -hmm.